the army. I'm a soldier. In the army of the law. I'm a soldier. In the army. I'm a soldier. In the army of the law. I'm a soldier. In the army. I'm a newborn soldier. In the army of the law. I'm a newborn soldier. Oh, in the army. I'm a newborn soldier. In the army of the law. I'm a newborn soldier. In the army. I'm a soldier. In the army of the law. I'm a soldier. In the army. I'm a soldier. In the army of the law. I'm a soldier. In the army. Oh, and I'm fighting for my life I'm in the army. Oh yes, I'm fighting for my life in the army. Oh yes, I'm fighting for my life in the army of the Lord. Oh yes, I'm fighting for my life in the army. I'm got my war clothes on in the army of the Lord. I'm got my war clothes on in the army. I'm got my war clothes on in the army of the Lord. I'm got my war clothes on in the army. Yes, I'm a soldier. In the army of the Lord. Soldier, 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 soldier. Yes, oh, I'm a soldier. In the army of the Lord. Soldier, 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 soldier. In the army. I'm a soldier. In the army of the Lord. Yes, I'm a soldier. In the army. And I'm fighting for my life. In the army of the Lord. Yes, I'm fighting for my life. In the army. Oh yes, I'm fighting for my life. In the army of the law. Oh yes, I'm fighting for my life. In the army. Yes. My God, hallelujah. Oh glory, glory, glory. hallelujah. Since, Since I lay my burden down. Oh glory, glory, hallelujah. Since I lay my burdens down, oh glory, glory, hallelujah. Since I lay my burdens down, my friends don't treat me like they used to. Since I lay my burdens down, my friends don't treat me like they used to. Since I lay, listen. Every round goes higher and higher since I lay my burden down. Every round goes higher and higher since I lay my burden down. Burdens down, Lord. Burdens down, Lord. Since I lay my burdens down. Oh, burden down, Lord. Burden down, Lord. Since I lay. God, come on, let's sing one more time. Burdens down, Lord. Burdens down, Lord. Since I lay my burdens down. My burden down. Oh, burdens down, Lord. Burden down, Lord. Since I lay my burden down. My God, hallelujah. My God, I'm not doubting about the way. I'm not doubting by the way. I'm walking in the light. Walking in the light. Holiness is right. Holiness is I'm right. I'm not doubting. I'm my not God, hallelujah. I'm not doubting by the way. Oh, my God, hallelujah. I'm not doubting by the way. I'm walking in the light. Walking in the light. Holiness is right. Holiness is right. I'm not doubting. I'm not doubting. My God, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. I'm not doubting by the way. I'm not doubting by the way. I'm walking in the light. Walking in the light. Holiness is right. Holiness is right. I'm not doubting. I'm not doubting by the way. Because the victory is mine. Yes, sir. Victory, victory. is mine. Hallelujah. Victory. Yes. I told Satan. You better get behind me. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Oh, victory, victory today, today is mine. mine. I told Satan to get thee behind. Oh, yes, victory today is mine. Hallelujah. 
Happiness is mine. Happiness is mine. Happiness today is mine. I don't say that to get me behind. Happiness today is mine. Hallelujah. Joy in my joy. Thank you for the blood, Jesus. Amen. My without God. any further ado, without yes, yes, any further ado yes. tonight, my God, we my are God. going to turn it over into the hands yes, of the Griffins Jesus. tonight. My God. Come on, everybody, put your hands together. Yes. My God. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Welcome the man and the woman of God. Yes. Thank from, you, Jesus. From Louisville, Kentucky. Yes. Thank you, Father. Pastor Cokie and yes. Edward Griffin. Such awesome. a pleasure. 
Hallelujah to see you tonight. Jesus. It's a pleasure to have you guys here tonight. Yes, it is. I pray that the Lord will bless you tonight. I yes. pray the Lord will speak to those that are here tonight. Hallelujah. From city to city, coast we to coast, you, Jesus. and around the world. God bless yes, you. We need you, God. In Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, everybody. So Amen. glad I'm here in Jesus' name. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank Bishop Campbell and Pastor Zena, amen, yes. for the platform, amen, to be able to share the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ around the world. We do not take it for granted that God would have us uh, to be here tonight. And we believe that the Lord has a word that will lift us up, amen, that will cause us to grow spiritually, amen, and to encourage our souls. I want to say hello to those of you all who are in the chat tonight. God bless you. I did have a moment to just go in and say hello and good evening. I do not take it for granted that you're here, amen, after working all day or running all day. I realize that in most places, many places that are watching, amen, that it is is a later hour, but we praise God that you are here. Those of you who are on different time zones, welcome, welcome, welcome. We also appreciate you joining us. Again, I am your host, as Bishop said, Pastor Koki Griffin, and I have the most awesome person in my world beside me. Amen. My beloved husband. Amen. Pastor Edward Williams Griffin. Amen. Amen. And if you've been joining us, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you have been joining us for the last month, you know that my husband has been right here by my side. I'm so excited uh, about what the Lord is doing. Amen. And he's been taking the lead role in the teaching and it's been phenomenal. Amen. God has really, uh, God has really used him in such a mighty way. Amen. And my husband's been speaking a lot. Amen. About how God has been purging and how God has been, um, has been delivering amen and and sharing with the people of god that you're not your mistakes amen god amen. is letting the people know amen that you are not stuck amen. amen we got a god amen that can deliver us amen that delivers and sets us free we want to welcome those right here in our own backyard in louisville kentucky when i did sign on i did see my beloved armor bearer amen and my assistant amen i was able to see sister christy garth and then i was able to see the general assembly amen in the house amen uh I, I saw uncle leroy amen thank you i mean uh no not uncle leroy uncle peter amen amen and then i saw bishop amen amen and mother amen sister jennifer god bless you amen uh, uh lowry thank you god bless you amen and those of you let's see i don't want to miss anybody so glad to see sister campbell amen amen and you all forgive me if i miss the titles amen i'm doing better i'm trying to learn everything Everybody, but we are delighted to be in your presence tonight. Before I continue, Pastor, you want to go ahead and say hello to the people of God tonight. Greetings in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He is risen, he's alive, breathing, my, my, man, my. sitting on the right hand side of the Father, advocating for all of us. And yes, I am grateful, and he is faithful. So faithful, so faithful, Absolutely. so faithful. I can't say it enough. He is so faithful. Amen. Yes. Glad to be here tonight. Amen. Amen. And like you all normally do, why don't you welcome those that may not be in the chat tonight? Perhaps they're sneaking in or just the Lord God has caused them to come by this broadcast. Why don't you send them some loves or some praying hands? We're believing God. Amen. To deliver tonight. We're believing God to set free. Amen. To lift the burden and destroy the yoke. You know, that's what the anointing does the anointing is the burden removing yes. yoke destroying power of god and i was uh, telling pastor zena earlier i said pastor zena i just feel so sleepy today but she started playing something and once she started playing lord we need power lord lord let your holy ghost come on down i told my husband i said uh oh i feel the power of god amen. amen the power of god is able to penetrate every emotion that we feel amen and we know that there is no 
distance, hear me, saints of God, in the spirit. There's no distance in the realm of the spirit. That means that my husband and I, we can be here in Kentucky and we can speak a word to someone in London, amen, in Virginia, amen, New York, wherever you may be. And the power of God is able to set us free, amen. That means we can come together on one accord, amen, and amen. things happen. There are those of you who are watching us tonight, whether it's listening to us by radio, whether you're in your home, in your car, wherever you may be, there are those of us who are standing in need, amen, amen, of a move of God, hallelujah. And I don't know about you, but I'm fasting and I'm praying, I'm seeking God, I'm pushing away my plate. Even amen. during the holiday season, I said, Lord, I need you, I need a move of God. Come on, because when you get desperate, amen, and you want to see a move, you want to shift, amen. Sometimes there's some things as the Bible will say in the in the book of mark that only come by fasting and praying yes, amen yes. and so i'm taking god at his word and i'm seeing god uh, more of you as the scripture would say and less of me amen i want more of him is there anybody out there amen. that wants more of god amen yes, yes, yes. i don't know that might be john 3 30 i ain't read that that was in my spirit y'all just bear with me and more amen more of him yeah he must increase that's what it says yes. he must increase yes. and i must decrease amen, amen. Yes. and i'm saying lord increase in me oh yes come on is there anybody out there pastor Hallelujah. come on do you want him to increase in you? increase amen. increase in yes. me lord increase yes. in me lord yes. I, I was yes. telling somebody i said lord if, he, if if you increase if god increase in me my feelings won't get hurt so quick. See, some of y'all get hurt quick, but if he increase in you, hallelujah, them emotions will begin to come under the power of God. If he increase in you, you won't be so quick tempered. Come on, somebody ask him to increase. When he increases in us, amen, his presence and his power, and we are more uh, keen and uh, in tune, amen, to who he is, hallelujah, we won't doubt so quickly, amen, we won't fear so quickly, amen. I'm asking the Lord, Lord, work in me, amen, and when we really want to move of God, we will do just what you and I are doing tonight night is that we'll sacrifice to sup with them. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so we do not take it for granted. Amen. 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 Pastor, Amen. pastor, pastor. Amen. I'm going to turn it over to you as you Amen. prepare us for what the word is for tonight. Praise Amen. God. Amen. My brothers and sisters, we sometimes feel like we're in a sunken place mm. and sometimes we feel like we're sinking. Mm. But I'm here to tell you that Jesus will lift you up. My, my, my. Jesus will lift yes, he us will. up. Amen. Yes, he will. If you would, direct your attention to the book of Matthew, the 14th chapter, the 27th through the 31st verse. Just because we're in a sunken place don't mean we have to stay there. Amen. Don't mean we have to water mm -hmm. there. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because what we go through in life is real. Mm -hmm. You feel it. You feel the wind blowing. You yes, feel sir. Yes, sir. Your emotions. You, you, you feel God giving us emotions for a reason. Amen. Mm -hmm. We cry sometime. Sometime we up. Sometime we down. Storms in our lives will come, but they Amen. don't last always. They don't. They don't. They're a temporary. Amen. And storms come for many reasons. Sometimes we create our own storms. That's right. Then there are storms sometimes that God will show himself mildly that he will get the glory out of our lives. And sometimes storms are meant to shape us mm -hmm. because what didn't kill you it makes us stronger. Amen. And every now and then we all need a setback. Amen. To we, so we to understand the goodness of the Lord. Amen. And God yes. will show us what we're made of and what we're not made of and how we really need to depend on him. Amen. Amen. That's why we need to learn how to trust God in every situation amen i gave a, a quick analogy yesterday while in service amen we need to learn to trust god the same way we trust our furniture that we just flop down on mm -hmm. the bed we lay in every night the vehicles we get in and drive every day airplanes we, we don't go around and do no 10 point check around our vehicles around our, our tables and around what we sit on what we rest on we just flop down the same way we flop down on our trucks and cars and, and furniture, we need to do the same thing with the Lord. Amen. Amen. We need to trust him. 
We need to trust them. Even when we can't track them or trace them. We need to continue to trust the Lord. Amen. amen. Roller coaster rides, we get on them. Amen. Have no idea who, who put, put them, them together. together. <laughs> Whether they were drinking while they put it together or smoking. We don't know. You what ain't seen one screw. But you know <laughs> what? We got the need for speed. Put our hands up. Don't hold on. We are just riding that thing. Amen. And having a good time. The same way with the Lord. Amen. We need to learn how to trust God. In fact, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, mm -hmm. and lean not to your own understanding, but in all our ways acknowledge him. He shall uh -huh. direct our yeah. paths. Amen. Amen. May I share something Amen. with you? Yes, me? you may. You were talking about you know, how we all go through. And the truth is, we all go through. Yes. And there are some of you who have who are walking with the Lord. You are walking upright. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you find yourself going through storms. Yes. And people say, you know, say, they can say, well, Lord, why me? You know, yes. I'm living right. You yes. know, I'm not out here like the quote unquote heathen. You know, that somebody mm -hmm. may say, you know, I'm I've given up so-and-so. I've given up this. Mm -hmm. I've given up that. I'm seeking you. Well, why in the world am I going through? I want to tell you this, you all, out of 73 and 12, before he goes into the word of the Lord, it says, yea, all who live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. Amen. Yes. All who are striving Amen. to live right, all who are aiming to please yes. God, you're going to suffer some persecution. We're going to suffer. You know why? Because mm -hmm. the devil don't like us. The devil don't like nobody that's trying to walk up right before the Lord. Mm -hmm. The devil don't like nobody yes. who is exalting his name and who's the light of the world, who's letting their light, like the book of Matthew say, Matthew 5, letting your light so shine that when men see your good work and, and, and they'll glorify the Father. Mm -hmm. the, the devil don't like anybody Amen. like what you were just talking about, who's trusting in the Lord Amen. with all of their heart and leaning not to their yes. own understanding. Yes. The devil don't like you. And so he comes hard, amen, in order to discourage the people of God. Oh, yes. So I don't want you to think it's strange concerning yes. the fiery tests and trials that you all and myself and yes. us are going through. Amen. It comes with the territory. Yes. But in all situations, Yes. We are more than conquerors through him who love us. Yes. Amen. Yes. And so we know that as we uh, as we are walking toward God, as we're seeking him, as we're allowing him to increase, as the book said, John uh, 3 and 30, allowing him to increase. Amen. And we're decreasing. The enemy's like, yeah, I'm coming to distract you because I, he doesn't want us to become all that God has called us to be yes. because we are a threat to the kingdom of darkness. Yes. Oh, come on, somebody. Come on, we're yeah. a threat to those generational curses. We're a threat to those things that have been yes. binding us for years. Amen. Yes. And so God has a word. Amen. But don't think it's strange. Amen. But we still got the victory in Christ Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Out of Matthew, out of Matthew, out of Matthew chapter 14, Amen. verse 27 through 31. God, we thank you tonight for the word of God. We thank you, Lord God. Father, that the words of our mouth and the meditations yes. of our heart will be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength Amen. and our redeemer. We have no other agenda than to preach Lord, the glorious Lord, gospel yes. of Jesus Christ, that you might be glorified yes. and that the devil would be terrified and that the people of God will be edified. Yes. We give you all the praise, praise glory, Lord, and Lord. honor in the precious Jesus. name of Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Amen. And the Bible says, but straightway, yes. Jesus spake unto them, saying, be of good cheer. It is I. Be not afraid. Mm -hmm. yes. And verse 28 says, let me get it on my screen. Verse 28 says, and Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. Mm. Verse 29 and so he said, come. And with Peter, when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. Amen. Yes. Yes. Come on, y'all. Verse 30. But when he saw the wind boisterous, when he saw the effects of the wind, he was frightened. He was afraid. And he began to sink and he cried out, Lord, save me. Mm-hmm. And immediately, oh, I love Jesus so much. I love him. I love him. And immediately, Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him up, saying, Oh, ye of little faith, 
Wherefore did thy doubt? Why did you doubt? Amen. The word of the Lord is already blessed. And when they were coming to the ship, the wind ceased. Thank Amen. you so much. Praise Amen. God. Hallelujah. Jesus <laughs> will lift you us up. Amen. Amen. He will lift us up. Amen. That's good news. Amen. <laughs> what Peter was dealing with was too full. Mm -hmm. Peter won, you know, Peter was at one, you know, the customers out. He he cursed, denied. Peter was that disciple. The enemy wanted to sift his weed. Peter was that one that was very, he was the more outgoing of the disciples. Amen. Peter was that one. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know, as that one. Amen. And like we, that one child. Sometimes <laughs> we're that one. Amen. But Peter wanted to come to Jesus. Amen. Peter mm -hmm. was that person that it just not just doubting Tom. Peter wanted to know for sure. I want if Jesus can walk on water, I surely can do it. Amen. But Peter steps outside of the ship, just like many of us. We we run it for Jesus, and we 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 sometimes we we want to do what God said do. We want to get where Jesus is at, not knowing that there's going to be some distractions on the way. Amen. Mm. Peter steps outside the ship. And was met with a boisterous wind. Amen. Mm -hmm. The wind took distracted Peter from Jesus. And sometimes we take our eye off of the Lord because mm -hmm. we're we're looking at the distraction more so than the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I want to tell y'all, this is for someone tonight. Amen. When you find yourself in a sunken place or mm -hmm. sinking, mm -hmm. keep your eye on Jesus. Amen. Amen. Don't take your eye, don't take your eye off Christ, amen, because what you feel is real and amen. And sometimes distractions come to take your mind and your focus off where it needs to be. Amen. Mm -hmm. Sometimes life gets really real. Mm -hmm. and it gets really, really real. Amen. And sometimes we find ourselves taking our eye off the Lord. Amen. When things don't go our way. Amen. Can we just be honest tonight? When things don't go our way, when things Absolutely. don't go as planned, Absolutely. when things don't are not going our way, when we don't, when we, when we see what, see a thing and we feel like we should be further ahead and we don't happen that way. Mm -hmm. We sometimes take our eye off the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. Peter took his eye off the Lord, but I've come to encourage someone that in spite of what you see and what you feel, Jesus will lift, lift you, you up. up. Amen. amen. And that's good news. Amen. The Lord would never leave us where he found us. Amen. Mm, and that's good him. news. Amen. He would never allow, allow us to stay stuck or caught between a rock and a hard place because the Lord loves us so much. And the Bible teaches us that nothing can separate us from the love of God through mm -hmm. Christ Jesus, our Lord. And that's good news. Amen. Absolutely. And I want us to understand, my brothers and sisters, amen, that we don't have a high priest who cannot be touched, be touched I or like identify that. Yes. with what we go through, That's what we right. feel. Our amen. Feelings of infirmity. And I want you to understand, my mm. brothers and sisters, amen. Mm. We have a savior mm. who is well able, amen. amen, who is well able to do all things but fail. Amen. Can I read this and, and I like, yes, baby, go ahead. We'll read that scripture once you get it. Okay. Amen. While, while you get it, I'm going to go to Ephesians 3 and 20. It says it like this. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we can we can ask or think according to the power at work within us. Amen. Our God is able. Amen. 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 Jesus is able. Amen. Mm. If you ever had a doubt in your mind, I want you to understand, my brothers and sisters, he handles he can handle anything we go through. He specializes Amen. in our sink, sunken places. Amen. He Amen. specializes when we, the, when we when we sink. Amen. He specializes in, in our ups and our downs. The Lord can handle what we go through. Amen. Amen. While we are on this journey. If the Lord called you, he's going to allow you to finish what he has called you to do. Amen. Amen. Take heart. He said, be of good cheer. Amen. Yes. Amen. Go ahead. Yes. Man, read that text. It's so good to know that Jesus cares for us and that he can identify mm -hmm. with those things. Out of Hebrews, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the book of Hebrews, chapter four, uh, I'm going to read this verse 14. Hebrews chapter four, verse 14. It says, seeing then that we have a great high priest who has passed 
through the heavens. Mm -hmm. Jesus, the son of God. Thank you, Bishop, for having that up there. Let us hold fast. Mm -hmm. Listen to this, y'all. Let us hold yes. fast our confession amen mm -hmm. for we do not this touched me when you said amen. that we do not have a high priest amen yes who cannot sympathize yes who cannot who cannot be touched with our feelings yes. of infirmity uh -huh. i like that our weaknesses amen but this this version said who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses but was in all points yes. tempted just as we are Yet he was without sin. Yes. And then it says, let us therefore come boldly, boldly. to the throne of grace yes. where we can obtain mercy yes. and find grace. Amen. And help in the time of need. Amen. And so when pastors talking about the Lord will lift us up, it's important for us to rest in that, to sit in that, Amen. knowing that wherever, when we find ourselves, as pastor says, in a sunken place, we yes. find ourselves diving, amen, deeper into a sadness or into discouragement. We've got to remind ourselves that we don't have a high priest that cannot be touched with our feelings of infirmity, yes. but we have a God, amen, that can identify yes. with our weaknesses, amen, because he put on flesh, amen, so that he can identify with our weaknesses weakness but bible said he was without sin amen and so we thank god that we have a god who can identify with us amen, amen. i thank god for that scripture i amen. love the word of god. god amen jude 1 24 says now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling mm -hmm. and to present you blameless before the presence of his glory with great joy amen amen the lord is able i'm trying to let you all see that the lord is able mm -hmm. amen can i hit that out of king james amen. yes you can the king james says which is the same thing mm -hmm. but it's so good but the king just mm -hmm. says and it just reads a little bit different mm -hmm. it says who will keep you now unto him who is able to keep you from falling yes. amen I, mm -hmm. sometimes i like i like the stumbling because we do stumble amen mm -hmm. but but god is able to keep us from falling amen Fault. he's yeah yeah and to present us faultless mm -hmm. before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy amen and i like that amplified able to keep you falling yes. into sin i see that amplified amen, amen. and to present you unblemished amen. amen amen and and so we thank god Amen for that scripture because he's able, amen, amen, to lift us up. Amen. And, and Jeremiah 32, 27 says it like this. Behold, I am the Lord, the God mm -hmm. of all mm -hmm. flesh. Is anything too, too hard. hard for me? Amen. Mm. The Lord can handle what we're going through. Amen. Can I read one scripture amen. on top yes, of that? Can. Amen. Out of Luke 1, 37. Mm -hmm. I just want to just, I'm just mm -hmm. sharing what you shared. You just shared amen. out of Jeremiah that mm -hmm. there was nothing too, hard. nothing too hard. He said, is there anything too hard for me? Nothing. And then I was reading in uh, Luke 1 and 37, uh, uh, just doing my devotion. Let me see if I can find that. Mm -hmm. Luke 1 and 37, I believe. And the Bible says, for with God, thank you, Bishop, nothing is ever or shall be impossible. Amen. Amen. Why don't you tell yourself? Why don't you tell yourself mm -hmm. right now, nothing is impossible for with God, nothing is impossible. Go on and tell your spirit with God, nothing is impossible. I want you to begin to get that situation on your mind and begin to tell your spirit, speak the word of God to your spirit mm -hmm. and tell yourself for with God, nothing shall be impossible. Go ahead and minister that to your spirit because the enemy comes all day long yes. to bombard our minds, yes. come all day long to to, to make us think that God oh, yes. has forgotten or, or that this situation is too hard, but we begin to speak the word of God. We take it, we're reminding God of his word, putting him in remembrance, amen, mm -hmm. of his word, amen, because as pastors say, his word it won't come back void. It's she not going to be huffing and amen. puffing, amen, but his word is going to do what it was sent to do. So remind yourself that with God, nothing, somebody say nothing, nothing. shall right. be that's impossible, right. Right. Amen. amen. It shall not Amen. be impossible. I don't care what it looked like. I don't care what the finances look like, what the health looks like. I don't care what people are saying. Amen. Uh, whatever the case may be with God, come on somebody with God. And that's a place where we can sit in. Pastor was saying earlier that we can trust God. We ought to be able to trust God the way we sit on them chairs and trust the chair going to hold us up. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. <laughs> Praise his name. Amen. Amen. But when we do feel our self-sinking my brothers and sisters mm -hmm.
the first thing we need to do is stop worrying. Amen. Stop worrying. Mm. Worrying is an emotion is strong and when we worry, we we are in disarray. We we are all over the place. When mm-hmm. we worry, we, mm-hmm. we 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 shut down and we yeah. we afraid to go forward and go backwards. When we worry, amen. It's not saying, let me say, you, we have emotions, amen. Yeah. What you feel is and real. God gave us, yeah. Every storm you ever been through has been real. Yeah. But has not God brought you through? Hasn't mm-hmm. he brought you through? Mm-hmm. Hasn't he brought you through beyond mm-hmm. and over? Mm-hmm. 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 Hasn't he made a way out of no mm-hmm. way? Mm-hmm. Hasn't he delivered you out My of a, a dried up some alcohol, dried up some some whatever it is your your fix might have yeah, used to yeah, be? Yeah, Hasn't, yeah. Didn't God do it? Yeah. Amen. You're not you? the same person you used to be. When they be. said you would not, not be here for Amen. six months, you are now going on six years, if not <laughs> 12 years. And they said you would not make it to 19, but now some of us are well in our 50s. Amen. Won't God do it? Amen. Hasn't he already proven himself that he will? So why should so we good. worry? Amen. Amen. Stop worrying about it. Amen. Mm-hmm. Because we all, let me tell you, storms are not going to stop. Trouble's not going to stop. Mm-hmm. But one thing I know about, know for sure is that the Lord has been consistent. Mm. He's been faithful. My Lord. He has kept his promises. Mm. And God cannot lie. Mm. God cannot tell a half a truth. If God said it in his word, amen, his word would not return unto him void. Amen. amen. It's going to do it, what, it's, mm. what it's supposed to do, what it's designed to, to do. do. Yes, amen. That's right. and let me tell you something. If God said yes to you, it is still yes. Amen. Amen. Glory it's still yes. It's and, still and, yes. And what's so beautiful is that God loves us. Your blessing is different from my blessing and vice versa. Amen. Go what God said to for you amen is for you. It's amen. For you. I mean when the children used to say years ago, what God has for me is for me. Sometimes we think those songs are kitty songs, amen, but they are relevant. Amen. What God has for me is, scriptural. is for, for me, me. Amen. amen. It's for you, amen. amen. Can't nobody pluck yeah. you out of the Lord's hand, amen. Can't nobody declare life and death upon you, yeah. amen. It's all in the Lord's hand, amen. God is sovereign. He is in control, amen. So stop worrying, amen. Yeah. I like the way that that that, that um, John said it right here. John 14 1 said, let not your hearts be troubled. Yeah. Believe in God. Believe also in me. Amen. Amen. Let not our hearts be troubled. Amen. If we believe in God, believe also in him. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. To put our trust and leave our trust in the Lord. Amen. And just in case you miss it. Amen. God is not going to cast you away. He's not going to cast you down. Amen. Because everything we go through, we have a savior. Emmanuel, God with us, Amen. 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 Who came down here to be cold in our cold in, in, in our in our weather, Amen. He was hot in our in our summertime, mm-hmm. Amen. He got hungry, he got thirsty, Amen. But one thing I know for sure, he persevered, and Amen. guess what? He put everything and pointed everything back to the Father. If we just look up to the hills from which come our help, knowing our help come from the Lord, Amen. You ain't got to worry about what tomorrow's gonna bring. Yesterday's gone. God's got everything. Amen. Amen. And that actually suffice is everything for tomorrow. Amen. Amen. God's grace is sufficient, sufficient as it pertains to his children. Amen. Amen. And that's good news. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. Amen. And one of the things about worry that the enemy uses against the people of God is causes us to worry about things that will never happen. Amen. Mm -hmm. If you look back on some things, sometimes you stand up in the middle of the night, amen, stomach turning, amen, unable to concentrate and really enjoy life sometime because of the worry. Amen. That is of the enemy. The Bible says here in Matthew, Mm -hmm. the sixth chapter, amen, and verse 25, it says, therefore, I say to you, Mm -hmm. do not worry about your your life, what mm-hmm. you will eat or what you will drink, not about your body or what you will put on. Is not life mm-hmm. more than food and yes. the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the field. Mm-hmm. Uh, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Mm-hmm. Are you not more valuable, That's people right. of God, right. than they? Which of you, by worrying, which of us by worrying, mm-hmm. which of us by worrying no, no, no. can add mm-hmm. one cubic 
to his stature. Can't do it. Which of us by, by worrying can add one hour or a length of his life? Worrying does not do good for us. It is it damages the body. Amen. And the enemy tries to get us to be so heavy into trying to carry burdens that God never told us to carry and put in our minds on things that God never told us to put our minds on. The scripture encourages us to put our minds on things oh, above. Amen. Right. And whatsoever things are pure and just and honest. Amen. Mm -hmm. Those are the things we ought to think on. Amen. 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 Psalm 55 and 22 says it like this. Cast your burden on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. The Lord is with us. Yes, Amen. he is. That's yes, good news. He is. He if you're in the you. deep water or, or on the mm -hmm. land, the Lord is with He's you. He's with you. Wherever you are, you find yourself is God is with us. Amen. Amen. Jesus is with us. He is everywhere we go. As a matter of fact, my brother and sister, I dare you just to invite him in to where you're at. Amen. Right now. Right Take now. Take him where you're at. Amen. Take mm -hmm. him everywhere you go. Amen. Invite him into that space of our lives. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because the Lord can handle it. Amen. Amen. And not only should we stop worrying when we find ourselves in a sunken place, place amen but we need to stop fearing amen mm. fear incapacitates us amen mm. it sucks life out of us amen mm -hmm, mm -hmm. fear will make you not want to go outside mm. fear will make you want to stay at home amen right That's now so a lot of people true. a lot of people That's still so dealing with post pandemic amen let me tell you something if god allow you to make it through amen He's going to allow you to keep on keeping on. Amen. Amen. God is going to sustain you. He's going to keep you. But we cannot fear. Amen. And also, you cannot fear what man has to say about you. Amen. Mm. You can't be fearful of the voices and fearful of people, what people are thinking. Amen. Just because they might know something about you. I'm talking about folk that, that, that struggle with some things. Amen. Just because they know something about you don't mean that you are, you're not a child of God. Amen. God ain't going to throw you away like man throw you away. Amen. God is, God loves you. Amen. In, in other words, the Lord ain't going to pass you by. If you're on a side road and, and you, you in your worst condition, the Lord is not going to pass you by mm -hmm. amen he gonna be just like as an example as a good samaritan amen the lord's gonna stop by mm -hmm. and gonna help you see about help you. you you know he gonna be a religious leader and walk by on this mm -hmm. side or, and then another religious leader come out on this other side amen he gonna look down on you mm -hmm. amen mm -hmm. but the lord's gonna look down to pick you up amen because jesus will lift you up amen amen, amen. Uh, one thing also about fear is the scripture teaches us that mm -hmm. fear has torment. Yes. Do you realize how many born again, blood bought believers mm -hmm. are sometimes tormented in their minds? And God did not uh, uh, save us for us to be tormented by the enemy, to be tormented by what if. If he takes care of the birds of the field, he will take care of you. Just real quick, that scripture on fear having torment out of 1 John mm -hmm. uh, Four, it says there is no fear in love amen, amen. and god loves us with yes. a perfect love amen mm -hmm. there's no fear in love mm -hmm. it says but perfect love mm -hmm. cast out all fear that's why i said lord increase in me lord and let me decrease amen because when i realize how much god loves us amen i won't fear as much i find myself as i'm growing in god yes. not yes. fearing as mm -hmm. much i'm sleeping better at night than amen. i did years ago just mm -hmm. because it was so much going on and I said Lord increase in me and I find that when the power of God when we get closer and closer to God we begin to relax and sit down yes. in him amen let me read that it's okay it said perfect love cast out fear mm -hmm. this is first John 4 and 18 it says because fear involves torment amen, amen. but he who fears uh has not been made perfect in love. Amen. Amen. And so we're asking God, Lord, increase in me so that I'm not tormented by the lies of the enemy. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Mm. Jesus. David said it like this in Psalm 34 and 4. I sought the Lord. I sought the Lord. And he answered me. That's good. And delivered me from all my Thank fears. Thank you, Father. Amen. Deliver tonight. We all have fears. Deliver us tonight. We all have fears. Come on. Come on. But the Lord will deliver, deliver us. Deliver us. 
from all, all of our, our fears. fears. That's mm -hmm. why David was able to say, Yea, though I walk through the valley, valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, mm. for he knew, it, for thou art, art with me. me. Amen. Yes. God is with he us. He is Amen. with you. Yes. And Jesus will lift you he up. Will lift you Wherever up. you find yourself at right now, he will lift you up from depression. Amen. Anxieties. Amen. He'll lift Sickness, you up from doubt disease. and everything else. Yes. Amen. He has the power to lift you you up, up yes. and to lift us up amen. amen how do i know i'm living proof mm. what the lord can lift up amen 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 he, he's able amen to lift up and he's gonna get the glory out of our lives amen mm -hmm. i think about lazarus and his sisters mary and martha yeah, amen yeah, yeah. You know, and those were Jesus' friends, amen. Mm -hmm. And it just so happened, Lazarus died, amen. Mm -hmm. It was not that Jesus was ignoring their request, and, mm -hmm. and they would want Jesus to come right now. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and you know, sometimes people get familiar and say, come on, you know, this is your buddy, he's mm -hmm. dying, you know. Mm -hmm. And I'm just, just you know, uh, giving you a, a, a paraphrase, paraphrase yeah, a real yeah. life version. Because sometimes people pull on you and think you should come right now. But Jesus waited four days mm, mm. where Lazarus was really good and stinking. He mm -hmm. was dead. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But he did that so that God would get the glory out of his life. And it even Amen. showed that he had the power yes. over death. He Amen. Did. Did. God will backdate your he victory. Did. Amen. Yes. He had power over death. Yes. Well, Jesus, you got to hurry up and come for he died. Yes. Jesus said, death felt nothing to me. Amen. Yes. I yes. got the power over the grave. Yes. Oh, death. Yes. Where is your sting? Because he is the Amen. resurrection. Amen. Amen. He, he is, is the, the resurrection. resurrection. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Not only should we stop fearing, my brothers and sisters, but we need to learn to stop doubting. Amen. If Jesus bid us to come, if Jesus called us, if God has given a mandate, mm. if God said yes to a project or gave you purpose no, in the no. kingdom, no. amen. Stop doubting. That's right. That's Amen. right. That's right. What God has told you to do. No. A lot of times we sink because mm -hmm. we doubt. Amen. Because it don't look like mm -hmm. what we think it should look That's like. That's right. That's right. How many of y'all know it's never going to look like what you think it <laughs> mm -hmm. looks like? Never. Mm -hmm. Because this is God's work. This is God's <laughs> plan. Amen. This and our God's thoughts work. are not his Amen. thoughts. Amen. Neither are our ways Amen. his ways. As far Amen. as the heaven is from the earth, yes. so are his ways from ours. So what yes. you think, what I think it should yes. look I can't tell you y'all how many times i said well god if it was me yes. i would have done it like this but i'm not god amen. god knows the way that we take god knows what we amen. need he knows our uprising our down sitting he knows you in amen. and out and what you and i think is look it should look amen. like god said i'm not i don't move according to your schedule amen. you know i'm not i'm not i created this thing i created you amen, amen. so god knows so sometimes it may look like things are not working for our good but god is is doing a panoramic blessing Yes. And amen. God is blessing us all the way around. Things we can't even see, stuff we don't even know we need. God is doing it. Amen. So I want you to take comfort in the fact that God is even yet lifting you up right now. Amen. amen. Hey, let, me, let me talk to the true servants of God real fast. Hmm. It's not in the number. It's not in the following. It's not about looking out and seeing hundreds of people and thousands of people. God can use and take a little bit. Mm -hmm. And do great things mm -hmm, with it, Amen. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Don't you doubt God because the number don't look like what you or think because you're like. influenced. Amen. You feel like you're influenced. You may not be you, a pastor, or whatever. Amen. You may just you are more yeah, than enough. You are more than enough. Yeah. You might be a small voice, but you you are be mighty in God, mm -hmm, Amen. Mm -hmm. In your family, Amen. Mm -hmm. So never give up because doubt sets in. Yeah. And there'll be people come around and tell you, man, y'all should go on and shut down. Y'all should go ahead and stop doing what y'all doing. Y'all, y'all not effective. Amen. Don't listen to people. You gotta keep your eye you keep and your keep eye. your ear in the heavens. Amen. Amen. If God told you and gave you a yes and an amen to what you're trying to do, mm -hmm. amen, for his glory, amen. You stay on the battlefield amen. for the Lord. Amen. amen. You keep on moving, keep on getting up, amen. Keep Keep on studying and keep on keep on working the, the 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 fields. Amen. Keep on plowing. Keep on fishing. Amen. Never give up because doubt sets in. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because it's never ever gonna look mm 
like what you think it should look and like. Amen. For some people, you'll never be enough. You know, there may be people who stutter a little bit. Maybe mm -hmm. they don't say all their words right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, uh, maybe they're not the most educated. Maybe they're the ones who have been uh, deep in sin at one time. And people say, well, I can't listen to you because you used to be a major sinner. Mm -hmm. Well, the scripture lets me know that he who have been forgiven much love much. Amen. So you are a perfect candidate to be used by God. I say it all the time. The apostle Paul should have had prison. He should have had uh, been on a death row. Amen. But God chose a man, a man like him to you. So I think it's so good to say, don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt the God that's on the inside of you. God who's calling you to great things. I said, he's calling you to great things. Mm -hmm. He's calling you to great things. He's calling that single mother, that single father. He's calling that one who's fallen many times. Mm -hmm. He's calling that one, amen, who may not speak so eloquently. He's calling that person who may not read the best. He's calling that person who may be the CEO. It don't matter what mm -hmm. you're doing. God said, I can use, amen, anybody I call. And so don't doubt, amen, your influence, the influence that you can have, amen, on somebody's life for the good. And don't doubt what you can do and be in the kingdom of God. You are a perfect candidate amen. for what God wants to do in this earth right now. That's why you're born right now, because God has a work for you. Amen. Amen. Matthew 21 and 21 says, and Jesus answered them, truly I say to you, mm -hmm. if you have faith and do not doubt, do not doubt, you will not only do what has been done to the fig tree, uh -huh. but even if you say to this mountain, uh -huh. be taken up and thrown into the sea, mm -hmm. it will happen. It will happen. It will happen. We don't have to doubt. Mm -mm. If God said it, Ooh. he meant it, mm. and the Lord keeps his word, he keeps his promises as it pertains to us, amen. And that's good news to somebody tonight. Amen. That's good news to me, amen. Because if I don't doubt, but I believe, amen, amen. the Lord will make a way. That's what Peter was dealing with mm -hmm. tonight, amen. Mm -hmm. Peter was doing the impossible, mm. amen. But everything is possible through Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. And he doing it through Christ. <laughs> he said, was. he said, Lord, if it be you, if it be you, where is it at? Uh -huh. Can I come to you? Mm. He said, come on. I bid you to come to me. Mm. Mm. But Peter stepped out, walked on water a little bit. Probably got to feel himself a little bit, you know, amen, somebody, <laughs> you know how we do. Amen. We, we, we in the spirit and we feeling really good. Amen. That's why we need to keep our eye mm -hmm. on Jesus. Amen. amen. Don't get caught up in what you did last month. Amen. amen. Let me tell you something. What I love about the Lord is the Lord comes. He's multifaceted. Amen. He comes in so many different ways. Mm -hmm. Every time you, you, you turn up in that word. Amen. The same scripture you read last week has a different meaning to it. Amen. amen. The Lord will take you deeper. Deeper in his word. Never get to the point where you think you know God. Amen. Because mm -hmm. that becomes strange fire, amen. Mm -hmm. Because the Holy Ghost comes in such a miraculous way, amen. amen. And sometimes we, we try to put our finger on God, amen. You can't put your finger on God because our ways are not his ways. Mm -hmm. His ways are not our ways, amen. You don't know what God has in store for someone. Mm -hmm. That's why we should never put our mouths on folk, amen, and doubt who God has called, who God can use, amen. Mm -hmm. The thing is, when people come to you and say, I, I have a call or the Lord, I think the Lord mm -hmm. is, is speaking to my heart. Mm -hmm. Amen. Have a real candid conversation with people. Amen. And see what they really mean. Amen. Because the same way God tugged at your heart and tugged at my heart and folk doubted you. Folks said you ain't going to be nothing if you don't sit up under me. And God, you ain't going to be nothing. Who are you? And amen. They ask you who your name is. Amen. Because there's certain names that reign through the earth. Amen. But let me tell you in something. Certain communities. God is in control. Amen. If God has put his stamp on you, young David, amen. David didn't look like a warrior, amen, but David was purposed to be a king, amen. 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 David's brothers looked much better than David did. They probably had muscles and they probably mm -hmm. was, was really warriors, amen. But when it came time to fight, they wasn't fighting. It was David that slew Goliath. Amen. Mm -hmm. And just like you like look at Moses, Moses had infirmities. Amen. Moses had a stuttering problem. Amen. Mm -hmm. But but Moses was the deliverer for the children of Israel. Amen. And he's the one that went to Pharaoh and said, God said, let my people 
go. Amen. Amen. And there's so many examples in the scripture. Amen, my brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. I want you to understand mm -hmm. that, that if we allow our imperfections yes, hinder us, yes, that's so what good. people think about us, what people are saying about us. Amen. Mm -hmm. And we'll find ourselves in a sunken place and we will stay there. Amen. Amen. But I'm here to tell you that Jesus has the power to lift you up. Amen. Amen. When Peter found himself sinking, he cried out mm -hmm. to whom he knew to cry out to. That's Amen. It. That's it. When you find yourself in a sunken you place, know who to call. you better not get out your Rolodex and start calling all your friends and buddies. Amen. Because sometimes they might want to see you in a sunken place. Amen. Mm -hmm. You better call unto him who is able mm -hmm. to do all things but fear. To him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask or think. Amen. Amen. They call unto him who is able yes. to present us faultless. Amen. Right. They call unto him who is able, who you know is able. Amen. Who brought you out before. Amen. Amen. He is able. Amen. How many times have we, we called on folk amen that mm -hmm. we knew that, we, that they had the, 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 the power they were positioned to help us. Amen. But watch the sink. Mm. Amen. Could help. But would. God <laughs> Who is faithful? Amen. Who is just? Mm. Who is true? Who is on time? Who would not leave us where he, he found us? us. Amen. Amen. He will lift us up in a nick of time. Amen. Amen. Go ahead, babe. Amen. One of the things I see in this text is I see courage. Mm -hmm. I see there are many people on the boat, but one person stepped out and mm -hmm. said, if that's you, bid me to come. And I just have a feeling I'm talking to some people who mm -hmm. have stepped out on something. Amen. Maybe somebody said, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't try that. I, who do you think you are? Why do you think you're going to meet him? You know, and, and, and look at the hour of the day it is. It's not like it was in the middle of the day. It's bright. You can see. Amen. It was a scary situation to go and meet God. Amen. And there's some people listening to me and, and God has called you to do things that's, that, that's impossible with man. You know you couldn't be doing what you're doing if it had not been for God. I want to encourage you, keep your eyes on God. Yeah, there's some people in the boat saying, I can't believe she's doing that. I can't believe he's doing that. Why are they doing that? Who do they think they are? But you keep your eyes on God because you have taken courage, amen, to begin to trust God. Amen in a place that is unfamiliar yes. to you. That was unfamiliar territory. Even when we started the church, that's unfamiliar. Yes. Lord, what yes. in the world? Yeah, amen. we have, we've been called for years. We yes. have some schooling amen. and all yes. of that stuff. But it's still some stuff you just, yes. school don't prepare you for. Amen. And even just being called, you got to go through some things. But I want to encourage you all because yes. there's some people on the boat that's criticizing you who's walking. Now, look at that. They amen. still sitting on the boat. That's amen. Right. They, they criticizing you for sinking. Amen. But yeah. at least you got out and at least you yeah, know God who to call sink. on amen. when things are starting to sink. Amen. Don't you dare feel guilty because you sunk or that you're sinking. Amen. Or that something happened. Amen. At least you know who to call. And at least we know God is able to lift us up when we start falling. But I wouldn't be falling if I didn't take courage and stepped out on nothing. Come on, somebody. Amen. Give God glory. My brother and sister, how mm. do I know mm. that he has the power to lift us up? Mm. Because I remember in times past. In times past. When I was sunken, when I was fallen, amen. Mm. I called on him. Come on now. Tell your story. And he lifted me up. Amen. The scripture is full of so many examples. examples. And the Bible encouraged us to, to lean on the examples that we have. Mm -hmm, amen. Mm -hmm. Jesus was able to lift up young Jairus' daughter, son. I mean, yeah. amen. Yeah, amen. He was able to, daughter, I mean, amen. He was able to lift up those who was, was post-resurrection. Amen. He was able to lift them up. Amen. And the beautiful thing is, my brothers and sisters, not only did he lift up Lazarus, mm. so many things Jesus did. Amen. The, the man who was paralytic. Amen. The, the man who, who paraplegic. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. The man yeah. who had, 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 uh, was that, uh, uh, palsy, palsy, amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was able to, to lift up infirmities, amen. Lift up sicknesses, lift up diseases, amen. He was able to, to give sight to the blind, amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He was able, yeah. amen, to feed uh, the multitude, amen. He was able to lift us up, amen. Because the good news is, my brothers and sisters, one day I do realize, amen, in times past, amen, our Savior went to the cross, amen. 
He went to the cross, amen, and he gave his life up and gave us liberty, amen, through his death, burial, and resurrection, amen. But the good thing is, my brothers and sisters, the Bible teaches us on that third appointed day, amen, that Jesus got up. So I'm going to tell you, my brothers and sisters, the same God, the same spirit that lifted that Jesus up, amen, is the same spirit and the same God that is able to lift us up, amen, because the Lord specializes in lifting us up, amen. And I want somebody to be encouraged tonight and let you know that you don't have to stay where you at, amen. And if you don't know Jesus in the pardon of your sin, you know a family member don't know Jesus in the pardon of sin, let them know tonight that Jesus has the power to lift you up, amen. You don't have to stop. You don't have to give up, amen. You don't have to walk around hopeless, amen. But put your trust in him who is able to lift it up. God is life changing through Christ Jesus our Lord. How do I know I am a walking, living testimony to the fact of what the Lord can and will do if you just step out of your norm, amen. Peter stepped out of the norm and sunk because he got distracted, but he called out to his savior and said, save me. Mm. And somebody right now tonight, wherever you at, you just call out to him and say, Lord, save me and watch him save you. How do I know? Amen. I was once lost, but now I'm found blind. But now I see when I cry to the Lord, amen, and say, Lord, save me. It don't have to be no elaborate prayer Just say, Lord, save me. Whatever it is that you're in right now tonight, just say, Lord, save me, save me. Let us go to God in prayer. Amen. Father, we thank you and we love you. We adore you, Lord. I thank you for this platform, Lord, for your glory. I thank you for Bishop Campbell and his, his wife, Pastor Zena. I thank you for my wife tonight, Lord, Pastor Nicole. And uh, I thank you for everyone that's under the sound of my voice, Lord. Father, I ask you in the name of Jesus that you will lift us. Lift us where we're at right now. Lift us up, Father God. And as you lift us up, pick us up and turn us around. Place our feet on solid ground. Father, make a way for, out of no way. Father, I thank you in advance that it's, uh, it's done. It's so there might be somebody that's struggling with drugs, struggling with alcohol, struggling with just life, struggling with who they are and what's in them, Lord. Whatever it is, forgiveness. Lord, I pray that you'll lift you, us up. Lift us up, Lord, and make us better. And Lord, thank when you, you lift Father. us up, Lord, we are mindful thank you, to always give you the glory. To always give you the honor. To always give you the praise. Yes. And Lord, we thank you in advance you, Lord. that you are lifting us up. And Lord, if it don't happen tonight, Lord, when it happen tomorrow, Lord, I pray that somebody will just lift up holy hands unto heaven. Thank you, Jesus. And say thank you. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise in Jesus' holy and righteous name. Amen. 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 Lord, thank you so much. Amen. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. My God, thank you, mm. Jesus. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining me on The Turning Point. Until next time, please remember that God loves you so much, and there ain't nothing you can do about it. And he's not through blessing you. Thank you so much for joining. Welcome to The Turning Point. I am your host, Koki Griffin, your sister, pastor, friend. And this is the space where God shifts us into his divine purpose. This is your time of elevation, of revelation, of restoration and celebration. God has made me an ambassador of encouragement and he has something just for you. Welcome to The Turning Point. I am your host, Koki Griffin, your sister, pastor, friend. And this is the space where God shifts us into his divine purpose. This is your time of elevation, of revelation, of restoration, and celebration. God has made you an ambassador of encouragement, and he has something just for you.